Welcome to Sketchy. We take all the super complex stuff you need to learn and turn them into memorable visual stories packed full of everything you need to know on test day. Click the link in the corner or description to try for free for seven days. Now let's get to it. We have returned to Kalimia Valley, and in light of our prior stressful stint with the research team, we thought we might instead observe and possibly participate in a relaxing day at the world-renowned hypokalemic chimp spa. You'll notice that sunset is upon us to highlight, or rather low light, the low potassium state. Before hopping in, however, the spa requires a basic hypokalemic evaluation. Following an excellent history, accurate vital signs, and a thorough physical exam, it's important to obtain some additional objective data. Let's check in with our friend relaxing in his tree over here, whose vine reminds us to grab that EKG ASAP. You'll notice he's enjoying some candy for dessert, which should remind us to order a finger stick to check a glucose level. We'll also need to obtain a complete metabolic panel, highlighted by that fish skeleton left over from his lunch. And as he still has a few minutes left on his lunch break, looks like he's catching up on the latest in celebrity chimp gossip with his magazines, which represents the importance of obtaining a magnesium level. Did you hear about the dust up at Primate Fashion Week this year? Totally shocking scandal. And I hear Le Chic Chimp Weekly has the exclusive. Speaking of shocking, if you're ever surprised by a potassium result and the level just doesn't seem to make sense in the clinical picture, always redraw a sample. Around these parts, it's very frowned upon in chimp culture to have an erroneous banana count. Speaking of not enough bananas, by now we've established that we are indeed in a hypokalemic situation, and will thus be granted entry into the hypokalemic spa. If the patient's history hasn't helped elucidate a mechanism for their low potassium, another tool to distinguish between causes is the assessment of urinary potassium excretion. This is obtained by completing a 24-hour urine potassium collection, represented here by our banana waterfall and beautiful setting sun. Short on daylight, you can get a potassium to creatinine ratio from a random urine sample in a pinch. Next, we're able to take a glimpse into the chimp's elaborate hypokalemic spa system. The lower pools indicate lower urinary potassium, while higher pools indicate higher urinary potassium. To complete this picture, let's determine the acid-base status and combine that with the urine potassium levels, shall we? The blue pools should remind you of metabolic alkalosis and yellow pools of metabolic acidosis. Tempting, no? 